What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. You're on hump day, which means you're almost on the slide for the end of the week. So hang in there, drink your coffee, because it's good. And it's, it might even be good for you. Who knows? There we are. Oh, man, it's dark in here. So hold on a second. Let me illuminate myself. Ah, a little unprepared. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And now we're good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh. It's hot in here, man. All right, let's go. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy Wednesday to all of you. Let's see. Let's see who's here today. Let's see who's in the chat. And oh my God, how did Lolly become number one? It's a total shocker. Well done, Lolly. You've done it again. You're the champ. You got the belt. Belt. Goat. Vlad's in the house. What's up, Vlad? How you doing, man? Gertie's in the house. Gertie, number three. Number three. Welcome, Gertie. She's back. Sergey's in the house. How you doing, man? Uh, who else we got here? Ike, what's up to you? Sajan, how you doing? Nawar Nawar, hi, hi. Huh, how you doing? Uh, Kelvin, what's up? Jory, what's up? Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Aisha's back. What's up, Aisha? How you doing? Pilar is back. What's up, Pilar? How you doing? Kaze was back. What's up? How you doing? What time does dose start? What time does it start? Oh, does. Dose. Not a different word there. Uh, who else we got in here? The usuals are here, which is awesome. Maria's back. What's up, Maria? Uh, who else we got? Sumaya. Yeah, Denise, the real Canadian. Tati's in the house. Salim's in the house. What's up? Uh, Gozia's back. What's up, Gozia? Where you been, girl? Uh, cool, cool. Oh, man, the house grows. The house is getting bigger, and my, my, my hellos take longer and longer each time. Whew. Okay, let's let's jump in. Here we go. Umaima, how you doing? Narayana, what's up with you? Ahmed, how you doing? Jeffrey, how you doing? Koskun, how you doing? It will be starting now, my man. It will be starting now. Uh, Rodrigo's back. 
Good day, folks. Spider-Man's in the house. Did you see the new Spider-Man, Spider-Man? Because it was all right. I thought it was it was not too bad. I just watched it last night. Yamini's back. What's up, Yamini? How you doing? Ivan's back. What's up, Ivan? Didi. Didi. Didi's back. What's up, Didi? How you doing? Shamal, how you doing? Oh, man. This house is big today. What happened to the house? It blew up. Uh, it's a lot bigger than it was last week. What's up? What's up? Farah, what's up? Mahava, what's up? El Well, what's up? Stasia, Salim, Jeffrey. Whew. Okay, cool. What's up? All right, here we go. Now we're good. We've said hello. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was all right. I thought it was Spider-Man. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there is a new Spider-Man movie out. So if you like Marvel, uh, you can go check this one out. It's called Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, you know, it was good. Um... There it is. There's a few photos of what's going on in that movie. No spoilers there, but that was the movie. I thought it was pretty good. This guy's a good actor. I like this kid. Um, what's his name? Don't remember his name, but he's a pretty good actor. Uh, so it was all right. It was not a bad movie. You know, it's hard to follow up after Endgame. If you've seen Endgame, obviously that was awesome, pretty awesome, and it's hard to follow up with something that big. All right, but here we go. Yeah, not bad. Exactly. I saw it. Yeah, there we go. Gordy saw it yesterday as well. The Secret Life of Pets. No, nope, no spoilers. Don't worry. No spoiling going to happen here. Hello, Vlade. What's up with you? All right, so here we go. And uh, Tom Holland. Thank you very much. Yeah, that guy's good. He's a, he's, a good uh, he's a pretty good actor for his age. I mean, he seems pretty young. How old is Tom Holland? Now I'm curious. How old is Tom Holland? 23 years old. Okay, pretty good. Not a bad actor for 23 years old. He's a kid, but he, he's quite good. All right, so the cool thing that we're going to do today is actually we're actually going to watch we're actually going to watch some video today, which is kind of fun. And so, but let me start you off. Let me before we get into all that, let's let's start off with a question, shall we? And the question is, oh, hello from Angola. What's up with you? Russell Mo Manuel, how are you doing? All right, so here we go. Question of the day is, how's your grammar? And maybe you laugh and say, "Oh, don't ask." Or, uh, but there's two questions here. So how's your grammar and how do you improve it? That's the question of the day. So tell me, what do you think about your own personal grammar ability? Because we're going to work on it today. Uh, laughing, yeah, laughter occurs. That happens a lot. Students just start laughing when you ask a question like that. And how do you improve it? That's the follow-up question. So if you think, oh yeah, my grammar is not too bad, how do you get better at it? Maybe you can share a little advice with the group. But let's see how people feel about it. Hello, Only Human. How you doing? Get in here. Not that bad. Okay, cool. Good. Got some confidence. I am still watching Kent's live stream. Well, I hope so, Maria. Is that why? Are you here to improve your grammar? Is that, what's, is that what's happening? I improve it to listen. I improve it. Listening to you, me. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, then hang out. We're going to learn some more today. Perfect. Rodrigo is Australian, so he's got questionable grammar. Kazeva, mine is good at writing, but about speaking is absolutely terrible. Okay. Grammar is fine. Spelling needs some work, Gozia. Don't forget your R in grammar. I prefer not to answer. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Maybe just bow out, don't say anything. Don't worry about it. How do you brush up on grammar? Brush up means improve, right? Get better again. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult question. Um, and I'll give, give my advice after you guys give yours as well. Uh, Jeffrey says, I improved my English watching movies, spelling I-V-I-E-S, uh, or listening to music, okay? Definitely those can help, right? Movies are useful. Um, I think it's good to do it with the, the subtitles, maybe the first time, and then maybe if you decide to watch a movie a second time, maybe that time you do it without, because you do want to get the vocabulary. And so for that reason, I always say, uh, books are better than movies, right? Because you're reading so much, you get so much detail, and you get the repetition, the repetition that you need. So if you're not reading books, you could be more serious about learning English because some of the best people I've met who spoke English as a second language read everything. And they were their, their understanding and listening in English was amazing. Maybe their writing and speaking weren't as good, but their reading and listening were amazing. So if you're not reading, Read. That's the lesson of today. Hello, Batuhan. How you doing? Uh, I'm proving my grammar by watching Kent's Kent's videos. Well, I hope so. I hope you are. And reading English Digest. I try reading as often as I can or watching TV series. Also good. Depends on the level of grammar you're talking about. Mm, okay. Fair enough. 
please recommend something for me to listen to. Ooh, Kazewa, that's a big one. And we have audiobooks. Sometimes you can go on YouTube and they have audiobooks. So it's a book, but just the audio. And, but I think the best way to do that is if you can get the book and the audio together. Boom. Reading, listening, same time. Like learning grammar? Good. Yeah, grammar's not too bad. I, I think it doesn't have to be that bad. Ziad, I studied grammar a long time ago through watching YouTube videos. Okay, there we go. Maybe watching Sean back in the day. When I read a book, I have, I have seen the grammar structure more and more in sentences. Correct. And if you read books, you don't have to learn present continuous, present perfect. You just read, 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 and one day you'll bleh, you'll spit it out and it will be good. So there you go. Read more books. Hello, Hashim. How you doing? Murphy. Who's Murphy? Oh, Murphy. Yes. Only teachers. Only teachers know that, Lolly, and very hardworking students like you. Okay. So here we go. So today we are going to improve your grammar. We're going to try to, anyways. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to watch a video today. But before we watch this video, I have to teach you some words. And so I'm going to share this document with you. So if you are new, if it's your first time, please take this document, make a copy of it. I'm going to share it with you right now because I, I need you guys to do some writing today. So don't write on a piece of paper unless you have no choice. If you have no choice, write on a piece of paper. But I would like you to write. So I'm going to give you this document. So I would like you to make a copy of this document. So just go here. I'll share it with you in the chat. So here it is here. No, that's not it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. That's what I want. Okay. So take this document, make a copy of it, the usual for most of you. And when you make a copy, so you just go file here, and then you go make a copy. And then you have a personal copy because you are going to be doing some writing today. Um, you can share your writing with me later and we might have a chance to do some correction online that we all work on but uh, make a copy for yourself and that way you can have it see all the little the little people popping into the chat be one of those little people popping into the chat grab a copy because we're gonna it's gonna help your writing today okay so there you go jump into the chat grab a copy but before we do this we got to learn some words because there are some words that I would like you to use when you're watching your video so let's start with word number one and word number one is this one here. And it is uh, a new way, I think you know what, what is the meaning of this word? So I think you know obviously what it means. What is another way to say snap? What does snap a photo mean? It's kind of the, it's kind of the cooler, kind of the, the, the more slang kind of way to say take. Yeah, it's basically take a photo. Snap, 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 snap. So we snap, snap, snap photos. So you can say snap a photo. Uh, so that's word number one. So you snap a photo, you take a photo, same idea. Uh, back, <laughs> I don't know why I have this word here, but I think you know this, but I just, it's in the video, so I wanted to go over it again. Uh, the next word is film. I know it's been a long time, but let's take a look, shall we? A film camera, you remember these? You're not that, you're not that young, are you? Am I that old? A film camera, you remember them, right? These things. Remember those before digital? And you would get photos and you would have to get them developed? Am I alone? Am I the oldest one in this chat? So there we go, those are film cameras. You remember those, right? No, you're millennials. Oh no, I'm so old. You made me feel old, Batuhan. How dare you? But anyways, back in the day, and we had these awesome things, which you can still buy, they're retro. Polaroids. Polaroids are still cool. Right? These things where you take it's a film camera where you take a photo and you you go and you get it and you shake it. Shake it up. No, it's a shake it like a photograph. And then shake it and then it appears. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Film camera. Okay, that's all. That's all I wanted from that. Next one. Uh, I'm gonna delete that word because that's too easy. Next word, I think everybody knows, especially the millennials would know this one. Yeah, you get an immediate photo. You remember good. I'm not alone. Everybody's got to know this one. Take a selfie. Let's take a look at some selfies, shall we? What is taking a selfie? Well, it all started. I don't know. I don't know why it started, but let's see. Those people are taking some selfies. There's a selfie. And now you've got the selfie stick. Some people use the stick. and like, oh... I've never owned a selfie stick. I will never own a selfie stick. I would rather just squeeze. That's a selfie as well. 
selfies, sexy selfies, normal selfies. Yeah, selfie. Everybody knows that. Yeah, some people don't like them. What's the C for? Uh, the C is for, good question. So sometimes I like to mark my stuff. So for example, snap. Snap is snap a photo, it's kind of like, it's almost like an idiom, right? Because snap is this, but it has the meaning of take a photo. And a film camera is a noun, and take a selfie is a collocation. It's a combination of words that we use in English. Okay, so that's what it means, combination of words. The next word is smash. Yeah, most people don't like the selfies. Next word is smash. And I think you know this word. Uh, you, you know similar words to it. What does smash mean? Oh, let's take a look if we can find a, a smashing gif. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, smash bros. Here we go. See, there's some smashing smash. There's something going. That's probably a smash or a crash. What else we got? Oh, here we go. Oh, that was great. Where did it go? Here. Yeah, we looked at this one before. This is the word smash. The Wookiee, Chewbacca, is smashing his guitar. I guess he didn't like it. It wasn't cooperating with him. So that is smash. Yes, it's to destroy. Just like that. And smash is also the sound. So that's why we use smash. The car smashed into the wall. Okay? Break. Yes. Smash your camera. Mm. Next one. Next one is, I think we all know this one as well, throw something away. What do you throw, some, throw away? Okay, bye Chewbacca, you're gone. Throw away, let's see. This is throw away. <laughs> like this. Okay, he didn't really throw it away there. Let's see. What's that guy? There we go, that's a perfect example. I don't know what this is from, but that guy is definitely throwing that away like a boss. <laughs> There we go, get rid of something, yes, throw your wastage away, put it in the bin, tidy up kind of, right? A little bit different, Simon, but yeah, throw it away is the next word. Uh, next word is, ooh, this is a good one, pop out. What does this one mean? Pop out. Uh, how would you explain, you know pop, but pop out is different, so what is pop out? It's a little bit different than pop. So let's take a look, shall we? Come up to appear. Ooh, yeah, good. Batahan, good one, yeah. Show up, appear. Yeah, so let's see. I agree with, I think Batahan had a good one. It's pop out suddenly or immediately or appear. Yeah, so pop out. Let's take a look at what a pop out looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that guy's eyes are popping out. I don't want to look at that one. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, cats are so funny. Uh, so that cat's head is popping out of the box. Good, so now you know the word pop out from that cute little cat right there. All right, very nice. Moving on, fall out of. Okay, so I think you, everybody knows this word fall, but these are the words that I want you to use today when we're doing this activity. So the next word is fall out of. So sometimes you fall off of, but sometimes you fall out of. So what could you fall out of? Let's find out. Oh, you could fall out of love. Yeah, that's totally true. You could do that. What else? Mm -hmm. You could fall out of your chair, like that guy. But that, I think that's fall off your chair. I don't think it's fall out of your chair. What else we got? No, it seems to be all about love. Ooh, you could fall out of a boat. That would happen. See, that guy's kind of falling. She's kind of smiling. Not sure why she's smiling. Yeah, but there we go. Fall, fall out of. So basically, you're inside something, and you fall out of something, right? So if you're inside and then it goes boom and you fall out of, not off of, this is off of, and out of is when you're inside. Okay, is there a difference between fall out of love and fall in love? Yes, they're exactly the opposite, Batuhan. They're exactly the opposite. Uh, oh my god, the Kazewa, stop. Your flattery is too much. Is that Japanese flattery, Kazewa? Uh, I'm from Canada, by the way. I'm totally Canadian. Okay, next one chase after uh, yes here next word is this chase after somebody fall out of favor indeed hello JB uh, chase after somebody what is chase after somebody I think we know this word you've used it before let's see chase after somebody Gif. what do we got here oh the police 
are chasing after the man <laughs> in his underwear. Why do I feel that's a British man? And, but I, I don't know. They, they kind of look like they could be British police, but that's kind of funny. So that's chasing. That man is being chased by the police at the moment. Yeah, pursue, chase after, run after. All of those words are good. Very nice. I think you got it. Okay, next one. Uh, next one's too easy. I'm going to delete that. Multiple is the next word. Go after, yes. Uh, next word is multiple. What does multiple mean? Give me one word which has a similar meaning to multiple. I was being chased after by police. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Rojan, is that true? Do you, have you had an interesting life so far? A lot of, yeah. Several, all of that. Lots of alternatives. Yes, yes, yes. Gross? Maybe no. Uh, more than one? Yes. Several? Yes, 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 yes. Verify no, plenty yes. Okay, we got the idea. Multiple means many, or a lot of, or a variety, or something like that. That's another word you might need in this video that you're going to watch. And the last two, last three, I think you know this one. The next one is look up. And look up is look up. Okay, that's easy. Let's skip that one. Show up. Let's do this one. So never mind that one. Yeah, look. Well, look up could be searched. In the video, it's going to be actually look up, like literally look up. So not it's a phrasal verb, but it's a literal phrasal verb. And the next one is show up. That's a good one because we use this one a lot in everyday English. Thank you. I think that's the right one. You show up for class. You show up for work. You show up for the movie, or you show up late to the party. All of those basically mean appear, appear. Here, yes, you got it. Perfect. Good. And the last one is, again, super easy, but some good phrasal verbs you can use in here. The last one is pick something up. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know this. It's got a few different meanings. Pick up can also mean buy. Like, I'm going to go pick up a coffee. That's fine. Uh, but in this situation, it is literally pick up. Okay? And that's all the words that you need to know. Yeah, pick up could be collect as well, right? You pick up the garbage. Uh, take, improve sometimes, right? If you pick up English on the street, you, sure, that could be kind of improve. Uh, yeah, pick up somebody, it could be for a ride as well. So literally, most of the time, pick up literally means pick up, like pick you up for a ride or pick up the garbage or whatever. Okay, now, video time, here we go. You are going to watch a short video. Uh, but we're not going to write until after the video. So if you want, you watch a video, maybe you write down a few notes about what happened. I'm going to try, I'm going to see if I can show a little bit of the video, if possible. I'm going to try to show a few clips of the video on YouTube. We'll see how that goes, what happens. But uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch a video. And before you make a video, make a copy of this document because I'm going to want you to write. And we're going to look at your writing today using this document. So basically you'll write and then later you're going to copy and paste back into this document and we're going to see how did you write about the video. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch the video from beginning to end and we're not going to stop. After we watch the video, we're going to go back and we're going to write about it. We're going to write about what happened in the video, okay? But not yet. So here we go. I'm going to give you the link. We're going to watch the video. You guys are going to watch the video. It is this one here. I'll put it right there. We're going to look at it after. Hopefully, we're going to look at a few photos together after we're done. And then we're going to write our summary after we watch. Okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. This is the video. Uh, so I'm going to hit play just so I can hear what's happening in the video as well. Uh, but I'm going to watch it over here because I'm not allowed to watch it on YouTube. So whenever you're ready, you guys can hit play and you can watch the video and it is this video here uh, which you'll see is all about this okay so go ahead whenever you're ready hit play you can watch the video and we're going to write after we watch so I'm gonna watch it with you but I'm gonna watch it on my screen over here and I might talk a little bit while we're watching are you ready here we go video time three two one and go here we go allowed to do it with sound? That's a good question. Probably not. I'm going to turn off the sound. Okay, so I'm watching the video, you're watching the video. 
It's a girl. And again, use the words that we had. Maybe you can use a few of those words. Okay, there's a camera in it. All right, maybe I'm going to write while we're watching this video. I'm going to do a little bit of writing. I'm going to try to write. So there is a girl. There is a girl on the street. She is taking photographs. OK, so remember, you don't write right now. I'm going to write, but you shouldn't write. You just watch the video. And when you're finished the video, come back, tell me you're done the video. Uh, Rojan's got a question. Rojan, hi. What's the difference between the adjectives dominant and dominating? Great question. Mm, let's see here. Dominant and dominating. What would be the difference there? A dominant performance, a dominating performance. Mm. Let's see, dominant. He was dominant in the competition. Yeah, that sounds good. And he was dominating in the competition. Is there a difference? Doesn't seem to be too much of a difference, Rojan. It kind of sounds similar to me. One of them might be correct. Let's see if there's a dominating. Dominating, yeah. And what about dominant? Yeah. A dominant person, a dominating performance. Having a commanding influence or exercise control over. Yeah. Influence. Now what is dominant? Most important, influential or powerful. Having a commanding influence. Hmm. They seem very similar. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, dominates the market. Yeah, they're very similar. Very similar. Okay. Color of your shirt is my favorite one. Oh, thank you, Manero. It's basically gray. <laughs> I should get rid of that. Show a little too much, eh? All right, so let me know when you're finished watching the video because we're going we're gonna to write about it. We're going to go from the beginning to the end, and we're going to do some writing today. So let me know. Tell me when you are done. Okay, done, done. Here we go. Cool. Everyone coming back. Done, 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 done. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so here we go. So now, let's start. Let's start at the beginning. We're going to watch what we're going to do. OK, let me, let me get a few more duns in here, and then we'll start. Yeah, it was nice. It's a nice video. It's cute, right? It's definitely cute. There's a lot of really interesting animated videos these days. So now, it's time to write. So what we have to do is we're going to go back to the beginning of the video, and we're going to go step by step by step, and we're going to create a summary of the video and what happened. OK, so you can go back. You can open up the video. You can click on it. So for me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it here. Not this one. Let's go here. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to go, yeah, turn off. I'm going to go point by point by point. And I'm going to go through the video like this. And you can do the same thing. So let's go back to the beginning of the video. And let's see. Uh, let's see what happened at the beginning. So give me the first sentence. So if I'm looking here. We got this girl, and she's she's kind of got this photograph, right? So what would be the first sentence that you would write? You can see she's got the camera. She's clear. She's and you can use some of the vocab that we talked about today. So please, somebody, give me the first sentence 
about what's happening in this video. All right, so what do we got here? First sentence, just the first sentence. What's, what's the first thing you would say? She's snapping a photo, okay? Yeah, or she's snapping photos, right? Because there's many photos, okay? So I'll start that. I already had mine. I said there's a girl on the street. She is taking photographs. Good. Or snapping, let's say snapping photographs. Okay, next. She's taking photos. She's trying, yeah, she's trying to take a pic, yeah, as well. Uh, okay, and then Kazewa's got it. I'm going to take Kazewa's here. She, because this is good, so I'm going to insert this into it. Kazewa, you are now famous only in this document. Uh, she smashed, so she used it well, so she smashed her film camera. Uh, then she threw away her film camera. So we'll go that, and then we'll go that. Okay, so let's see what we got. So I'm, I'm just taking your sentences and I'm going to create this story again. So there's a girl on the street. She's snapping photographs. She smashed her film camera. Then she threw away her film camera. After that, after that, the film camera chased her. The owner chased the owner and shaped a picture behind this girl. Oh no, too slow, too fast, too fast, Kazewa. We gotta, we gotta delete some of that. Okay, so here we are. She smashed her film camera and she threw away, she threw it away. That's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so here we are. This is where we are. So now we got this. So we are, if we look in the video, we are about here. So there, this is where we are. We are here in the video. So what's, what's the next thing that happens here? So obviously she throws it away. And then what, what happens here? What's the next thing that happens in the story? Give me one, one sentence or two sentences to explain what happens at this point in the story. Aisha's got one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, which one am I using? Let me put let me put this on this copy. Okay, here we go. All right. So next, uh, what do we got? She was spying on someone. She smashed it. She snapped some photos. She was spying on someone. Was she spying on someone? I don't know. Grandpa's photo. Okay. So she suddenly fell. So surprisingly. So here we go. I'm going to take Maria's sentence. She says she suddenly fell fell, not fell out, but fell down. So in this situation, she fell down, not fell out. So she suddenly fell out and her camera was broken. Good, and then Aisha's got one as well. She says, surprisingly, the film camera chased after her. Good, all of this is good. Okay, cool. So now we have this, we got the camera is running after the girl. And what do we got next? What happens after that? She threw it away, the camera chased after her. Yes, good. The camera's looking up. Hello, Muhammad, get in here. We're doing, well, unfortunately, we just watched a video. Uh, you can watch the video, it is in the link. Let me give you this video, Muhammad, if you wanna watch it and join us. Uh, you can catch up, this is what we just watched and now we're writing about it. Camera's looking up, yeah, the camera was catching her up. Okay, good, late. Um, the camera, what was that word? Yeah, the film camera chased after her and we got that there, good. So let's go to the next point in the story. And the next point in the story is, let's see here. So we got this. The camera's running after her, trying to catch. And what happens here, right at the end? So just before she reaches the door, he's, he's pushing the button on his head, right? And what happens next? The photo comes out. Here we are. This is where we are now. So we got the photo from the camera. What's happening now? Give me an explanation of what's going on here. Uh, so the camera made multiple photos by itself. Mm, not yet. We're almost there. We're going to use that later. The camera got crazy sentimental. Uh, yeah. Okay. Could do that. Okay. All right. Only human. I will use. I will use your sentence. Why not? Uh, that looks good. So let's put that in there. So yeah. Let's add it. So the cra the camera got crazy sentimental. The camera started to miss the owner or something like that. 
okay and we're still here so this is what's happening next uh, the camera chased after the little one while it was taking a photo mm -hmm. the camera popped out of the garbage bin that is a good sentence Rojan I like that one uh, yeah let's use that one let me add that the camera popped out so where can I add that is broken so here I'm gonna add that in there that's a good sentence so the camera popped out of the garbage bin good very nice so there we go so now we're getting we're getting a better picture we got a nice looking story so far now what else we got here the camera was trying to repair itself sure let me add that sentence as well very nice let's add that the camera was trying to repair itself okay uh, yeah and the camera chased after the little one and it was taking multiple photos okay I'm gonna add Denise's sentence there the camera chased after the little one while it was taking multiple photos, right? Because photos, multiples, many, so we got to use photos. Good, looking good, like it. Uh, so we got there, and then yeah, Muhammad's got it. A photo popped out. Good, nice one. Good, yep, Saima, you got it as well. Nice. Uh, then a photo popped out. Boom, right? He got the got the photo out, and then. Uh, it shows up in front of her. Nice one, Jasmine. Good. Shows up. Nice word. Using those words as well. Pretty awesome. Next one. It shows up in front of her. Right. So the so we got here, and then the photo goes under under the girl's foot. So it shows up in front of her. Boom. Done. And then she looks at it, and then she doesn't seem too happy about it. So what happens next? Uh, do 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 do. She started to take her attention by tossing photos and pointing to his button. Mm. Okay, so what happens here? So we're here. She's got the photo. She looks at it. She still seems sad. And what does she decide to do? What was one of those words? She picked up the photo, but she threw it away. Anyways, good. Girl didn't like the blurry photo. Good. I'll use, I'm going to use uh, Tatiana. So I'm going to add a little bit more information here. And then, okay, so the girl didn't like the photo shows up in front of her yep okay and then I'm gonna use Denise she picked up the photo but she threw it away anyway good very nice now last section we're on is here let's skip ahead in the story a little bit so basically what happens next is the photo the camera gets an idea and the camera decides to take many 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 photos okay so this is where we are here we got multiple photos all going on here so what's happening now we got this camera it's going out it's running what's going on the camera makes nice photos okay for all I'm gonna use yours good okay let's put that on there nice the camera uh, makes makes nice photos makes because of the camera uh, okay what else we got? The camera find out this has been broken. Yeah. Okay. She felt disappointed. Got home. Camera took as many. Yeah. There we go. Maria, I'm going to use yours. The camera took many as many photos as possible. The camera took many as many as possible. Now the last one, the really the last section. Yeah, oh, nice one, Rodrigo. The camera did make a mural, very nice. So a mural is, uh, is you can think of like wall art. Usually they're mural, like graffiti is wall art. Okay, camera made a mural. And, and last, maybe we can wrap this story up. So the last part of the story, we got the mural. You can see it there, she's happy. And here we go, end of story, kind of the end of the story. What happens here? The camera, multiple photos, big picture of her, yes. And then it, hang, it hung the photos on the wall. Yeah, that, of course, there's a lot we can write about this story, but I'm going to jump in just because we're going to run out of time here. Yeah, amazing graffiti. Not graffiti, but um, collage, right? And uh, maybe you have the same word in Spanish as well, collage. We have a group of photos together. Yeah, the camera created a photo of this girl. And the happy ending, I think, what, what would be the happy ending here? They lived happily ever after. Yeah, okay, there it is. Rodrigo's got it. You big sweetheart, Rodrigo, you know. The little girl hugged her camera. Yeah, okay, let's add both of those. 
and we'll, we'll end with happily ever after. Uh, so we got, they live, the camera, create a photo, the girl cuddled it, the little girl hugged her film camera, correct. Okay, and they lived happily ever after. Uh, here we go. So that's the end of our story. Now, now here's what we're going to do. So take a look at all these sentences. Now, what do you notice? So look at the story here. And I'll share this. You can, you can look at the story because it's in your document. So if you're in this document, you can see the story that I just copied and pasted here. It's all here. And you can see that the sentences are pretty short. And this is what we're going to look at today. For example, there is a girl on the street. She is snapping photographs. Very simple. Uh, she smashed her film camera, then she threw it away. OK, a little bit better. She suddenly fell down. The camera, her camera was broken. You can see all our sentences are short, 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 short. So this is what I was kind of leading to, is that sometimes when you're writing in English, Sometimes it's, it's a bad idea. Sometimes, no. Of course, if your grammar needs practice and you don't really know a lot of grammar, then short sentences are OK. But if, you, if you're doing a test or you want to improve your English writing, we need to use more complicated grammar. So that's what today is about. We're going to take this story and we're going to improve it by using better writing. OK, we do. So let's take a look down here. So as you can see, it's short, 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 short. Everything is really short, which is OK. But if you want to improve your grammar and you want to improve your writing and your speaking, we need to start using compound sentences and complex sentences. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you go down here, uh, I would like you to go to where it says grammar. So today, you are going to learn about how to improve your grammar in writing and speaking. And I should also say speaking. Uh, by using complex and compound sentences. OK, so this is what we're going to work on today. So uh, for example, I guess the first question would be, uh, what is a simple sentence? OK, so let's start with this one as a question. What is a simple sentence? What's that? Give me an example of a simple sentence. Because actually, if you look at the writing, most of the sentences were really simple. Subject, verb, object, yeah. So look at these ones. So these are a lot of them were simple sentences. Uh, there is a girl on the street, simple sentence. She is snapping photographs, simple sentence. She smashed her film camera, then she threw it away. OK, now we're getting into more compound sentences. She suddenly fell down, simple, simple, simple. So basically, really simple, right? Subject plus verb, like I like pizza. That is a simple sentence. Or Vancouver is rainy today. That is a simple sentence. OK, so we, today we don't want to use simple sentences. We want to use some different types of sentences. So let's talk about this one. What is a compound sentence? So what's a compound sentence? And I, I give you a few examples here. So let me share these with you. Or what are some examples of compound sentences? More than one subject, good. And which words do we usually use for compound sentences? So for example, we got those words. What's the first word? What's the second word? What's the third word? And what's the third? And what's the fourth? Yeah, so one of them is and, correct. Uh, so often when we have the same subject, we will say, you know, I like pizza and I like beer, yay. But we don't have to say I, I. We can just say and. So I like pizza and beer. Boom, done. Another one we could use, yeah, so the whole fanboys thing. But again, remember, fanboys, we don't use all of those words often. Like for, we never use for for fanboys. Really, we never use it. But we do use and, we do use but, we do use so, and we do use or. Yes, correct. And we do use nor, oops, or, and we do use nor. So we do use those ones. Those ones are fine. Okay. So those are those are basically simple sentences. If you say I like pizza, yum, pizza, and I like beer, it's pretty easy. We can change this to I like pizza and beer, and then we're done. Baboon. Number two, you can say I like pizza. But, comma, don't forget your comma, but I don't like 
broccoli. Well, actually, I don't mind broccoli, but just for a sentence. So we could also use but, and that's another example of a compound sentence. Or it rained, so I stayed on my butt at home. Okay, so we could use so, and those are all examples of compound sentences. Now we can use or as well, and nor, but the most common ones are and, but, and so. Now, let's do another one. What are some, and there's lots, there's lots of examples. What's an example of a compound? Sorry, no, no, no compound, complex. The second one should be, sorry, let's try this again. What are some examples of complex sentences? That's the question I want, this question. What are some examples of complex sentences? And I'll give you a few examples. I will help you out. Okay, so we got these ones. And there's lots, right? Uh, why don't you change T to D in your speech? We want to hear your natural accent. Hmm, I guess I'm being nice, because I'm trying to be clear and so everybody understands me. But I'll try, I can try to, I can try to, try to speak faster. Uh, so what do we got here? Yeah, so I like pizza, but it isn't healthy with the Y. Yeah, independent sentence plus a dependent sentence, exactly. So because is one of them. Okay, definitely this one. Complex, but not complicated. Hmm, exactly. So because, uh, what else we got? So what are some examples of uh, complex sentences? Well, we got because, we got if, we got when, we got, yeah, we got a lot. We got so many, right? We got while, we got, uh, what else did I have on here? We got before, we got after, we got although. There's so many, right? So there's, and this is really the point is that maybe your sentences, and if I look at your sentences, I say, hmm, they're kind of simple, easy, 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 easy. Now, of course, I can't teach everything today. Uh, that's too much to do review of everything. It's crazy. Uh, but you can see that these sentences are kind of short. They're too simple. So your challenge for today is to try to use complicated grammar. So if we wanted to, let's say, let's take this sentence here. How can we make this sentence better? So can you please, I want you to use compound sentences or complex sentences, improve this sentence. So let's take these two sentences and let's, boom, let's put them together. How can we improve that? <clears throat> yep, providing that, first conditionals, all of those complex sentences as well. So take these, we got this sentence and this, sen this sentence over here. Put them together. Easy, right? So go ahead. Uh, how would you put them together? Link the two. And there might, and remember, there's many different ways you can link them, but choose an easy one. That's fine. So put those, so don't use simple sentences anymore. Try to use a compound sentence. So how could we improve this one? While a girl was on the street, she snapped photos. Boom. The girl who is on the street is snapping photos. Boom. Uh, very nice. There was a girl on the street who was snapping photos. Also good. There is a girl on the street, and, and again, maybe no comma before your and, Tatiana. I think in English, and and commas are kind of similar, so you don't need that extra comma uh, most of the time, unless it's a style thing, but and is probably enough. And she's snapping photos. Good. There is a girl who is snapping photos on the street. Boom. Very nice. Good. Mm -hmm. There is a girl on the street, uh, maybe not whilst... But there is a girl on the street who is snapping photos. That would be OK. There is a girl who is snapping, not snapping. This is snapping. So snapping photos is different. There is a girl on the street. Uh, also, she, no, so Shamal, you got to put, remember, you got to put them together. And, so Shamal, you need to use and. There is a girl on the street, and she is snapping photos. Good. Uh, Okay, let's take this one. I'm going to take a different one. So how about this one? Can you put these two sentences together? So try that one. So now i got those two sentences. Can you put those ones together? She suddenly fell down. Her camera was broken. So how can you connect those two sentences? Should it be and? Should it be another word? What would you do to connect those two? She suddenly fell down. Her camera pro was broken. Hmm. Uh, maybe those two. Yeah, you could connect. You can change the grammar. Change the grammar if you want. It's no problem. 
because she suddenly fell down, that's why. Okay, but Batuhan, remember, I want one sentence today. No two sentences. I want you to take two sentences and make them into one. So today we're going to do only compound grammar or complex grammar. So no more easy sentences. She suddenly fell down, so her camera was broke. Mm, maybe, maybe, or and she, maybe the easy way would be and as well. And she broke her camera. Uh, okay. There we go. Her camera was broken because she fell down suddenly. Good. Genius. That's a good one. Uh, she fell down suddenly as a result of which... Uh, I think that would be... Rojan, I think that would be two sentences. I feel like most of the time if we use as a result, we would put it at the beginning of a new sentence with a comma. Uh, as a result of which, comma, her camera was broken. Tatiana, her camera was broken. The girl suddenly fell down. Mm, not sure about that one. Mm, maybe because, maybe because would be better. Her camera was broken because she she suddenly fell down. Can can I say both on the street and in the street? Mm, yes, sometimes. So you could say there are, there is a party in the streets, and I am walking on the street, which is weird. So most of the time I would say on, but actually actually most of the time I would say on. Some people might say in the streets, but I think you a lot of if you say on the streets, it's all should be always correct. Uh, she suddenly fell down, then her camera was broken. Good. She suddenly fell down, and therefore, okay, but again, even Batuhan, that one is probably a new sentence. We would put period, therefore, big T, comma. So I would say probably not. Uh, let's try another one. Um, <laughs> What else? Photo pop. <laughs> Surprisingly, the film chased after her. How about that one? Okay, let's try this one. Let's put these two together. The camera popped out of the garbage bin. Surprisingly, the film camera chased her. So we have camera, camera. So maybe we can delete one of the cameras. So how would you combine those two sentences into one? The camera popped out of the garbage bin. Surprisingly, it chased her. But I don't want two sentences. I want one sentence. Can we omit he, she? Yes, you could. You definitely could. And that's, that's good. That helps to avoid repetition when you're writing. Sometimes you can use grammar to get rid of extra subjects because it's clear. So we don't need to say it two times. So how would you connect those ones? And I'll be honest with you, sometimes the easiest answer is the best answer. Um, compound sentences are really easy to make. Uh, but go ahead, feel free to change it any way you want. It's your, your writing, your story, you do, you do whatever you want. How would you change that one there? Popped out of the garbage bin. Mm -hmm. I think the easiest answer is this. Okay, before the camera chased after her, it popped out of the garbage bin. Good, so you use before. Nice one, Kazewa. So again, we could use a before, we could use an after, that would be easy. Uh, Pilar, she suddenly fell down, and because of that, her camera, and, and because of that, comma, her camera was broken. Good, so an and and a because, very nice. Rojan, having popped out of the garbage bin, the film camera suddenly chased after her. Also nice. I like how you used some commas, you broke it up. Having popped out of the garbage can, very nice, like it. Judith, the girl, little girl hugged her film camera when... Uh, the little girl hugged her film camera when they fell in love? Mm. Little girl hugged her film camera and they lived happily ever after. That might be the easiest way to do that one. Denise, surprisingly, the film camera chased after her when, good, Denise used a new one, so she used when, when it popped out of the garbage can, so a before, or a when, or an after, Blaze got an after, after popping out of the garbage can, the camera started to chase after the girl, good, all right, very nice, now, uh, last one here, the camera then popped out, the camera that popped out of the garbage can chased after her, surprisingly, okay, Mm, so good, Aisha used which, the camera which popped out of the garbage can, also very nice, good way to do it, chased after her, unsurprisingly, no comma after, before chased there, Aisha. And last one, Lolly's got one, the camera popped out of the garbage, and, and again, sometimes the easiest answer in the world to write is and. So, 
we got that. So let me take a look here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I wrote this story. And in the story, I didn't use any simple sentences. So your challenge for you to do as a homework activity is to do, for example, uh, a recipe. Write a recipe, but do not use any simple sentences. And that's difficult, because recipes, you usually say, first, do this. Second, do this. Simple, 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 simple. But if you can write a recipe and you don't use any simple sentences, I think you're on the right track. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to share uh, the way I wrote this story. So uh, here is my writing. Now I wrote a little bit more than we, we did today. But let me show you what I did here. Okay. So here's my sentence. Here's mine. Now I put it in the document. So if you have this document, this is in the student copy. So if you go down to the student copy, you can take a look at it. And here's how I wrote this story. And you can see I tried to use a good variety. And every time there's a black word like this one, it basically means it's complex grammar or compound sentence. OK, so there is a girl who snaps a photo on a film camera. She is ex excited about it and then jumps up on a street light and tries to take a selfie. But she falls and smashes her camera. She tries to, she tries a few more times to take a photo, but the camera is broken. Or however, you could also use a however, the camera is broken. She sadly looks at her camera before throwing it away in the garbage can. The camera wakes up because it realizes that it has been thrown away. Um, it falls out of the garbage can and starts to chase after its owner. The button finally works. So it spits out, uh, I forgot to use that word, spit out is like that. It spits out a photo and throws it under the girl's shoe. Although the girl sees the photo, then picks it up to look at it, she is unhappy with the photo and throws it away. The camera gets an idea and decides to take multiple photos. When the girl looks up, she sees a picture of herself on the building across from her. The camera shows up next to her, so she picks it up and hugs it before running away. So this was mine. So, so how was your writing? So I know we didn't have a chance to write totally, but think about, think about the sentences you did earlier. So think about these sentences that you gave earlier, right? A little bit simple. And now think about how you can improve your writing by using more complex sentences or more compound sentences. So maybe for your homework activity is try to write a recipe. Right? How do you make tea? Or how do you make uh, toast? Or how do you make whatever? How do you make a cocktail? Try to write a recipe using only uh, compound or complex sentences. No simple sentences. And if you can do this, this is a good way to start improving your grammar. Right? You'll start thinking, oh, yeah. No more simple sentences, no more simple sentences, only put it together, put it together, put it together. And if you're doing IELTS or an FCE, you need this stuff. You need this stuff if you're doing academic writing or FCE or IELTS or PTE or whatever it is. You need complex grammar and compound grammar to get into the higher level. So IELTS tip coming your way. Uh, so there we go. So try it, try it out. If you can do a recipe, and you never use a simple sentence, that's a good way to start training your brain. I need to use more of this kind of grammar, more complicated grammar, and it's going to be better. Uh, throwing into or throwing in, Rojen? Um, probably, usually into is for action, for movements. So throwing into the basket. Throw in the basket is also correct, but into, walk into the room. You are in the room, no movement. Walk into the room, movement. Uh, let's see, why do we use the present simple to talk about repeated actions, uh, Ikram, right? What do you do every day? I work, I study, I brush my teeth, I wash my hair. Repeated, repeated, repeated actions. What is a recipe? This is a recipe. Let's take a look. A recipe. A recipe. So a recipe is this. A recipe is like cooking, right? If you know how to cook something, 
how do you make uh, eggs? How do you make an uh, omelet? Well, maybe this. But I want you to write the recipe step by step by step and write it out, but no simple sentences, right? So you would make a recipe like this, how to make delicious pan banana pudding, yum, uh, but no simple sentences. Because these usually have many simple sentences, but you don't use them. Okay, so that is your homework. If you dare to do it, I challenge you to watch that video again and complete your... So this is a cool video, so watch that video again or watch a different video. There's a million anime... Just search short animated films on YouTube. Watch a video and your homework is to write everything in complex sentences and compound sentences, no easy sentences. It's a good activity. It will help you to think more about how I can improve my grammar. Okay, so there we go. Um, the link, yes, I can give the link one more time for sure. So there you go. Watch another video. Go watch another short three-minute video, and then who is calling? That was uh, that's my alarm, JB. That means I got to run to job number three because I got too many jobs, too many. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. I hope it opened your eyes a little bit about you know using more complicated grammar. Maybe you could. Maybe you're not using enough. Maybe it's a little simple the way you speak. This is a good way to start thinking and using more complicated styles. So go ahead, you know, choose any one of these awesome short animated films. They're all pretty interesting. Watch it and write about it, and that would be a pretty cool homework activity. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Um, it's a little inter It's a big. It's a big topic to deal with because there's so much grammar. But just start thinking about that. Start thinking about how can I make myself sound better by using more grammar, make my sentences come together, sound a little bit more natural. Okay, and that's about it. Go off, go to YouTube, watch some videos. Like I said, there's, there's only millions of short, cool, funny, cute animated videos online, so go. So how can we send your homework? Unfortunately, Ikram, I'm not going to be accepting homework because uh, marking 100 papers will not work for me, unfortunately. But I hope you guys take these ideas and you look at them and you think, okay, how can I improve my writing? And if you do that, I promise you'll, your writing will start to improve. Okay, and that's it for me. See you all later. Have yourselves an amazing day. We will be back tomorrow. Same smart time, same smart place. Love you all. Have an amazing day. See you later, everybody.